And the thought that came to me was that the process to become great in anything is the exact same. I've played baseball since I was five, so I'll use this example. I started with a plastic bat swinging at a baseball on a tee. You know the tee, you set the tee up, different heights, and you hit it at different levels? You start there. Then your people will toss the ball to you and you gotta time it and hit it. Then they get the overhand thrown. And it's a steady progression. That's in anything you fucking do. If you buy into the process and you wait long enough for yourself to progress, you can be cold in anything. That was my epiphany. That's all I need to go crazy. I need to relight this bad boy. That's all I need, man. I love the fucking process. I love it. The process does one of two things. The process either shows how great you are, how disciplined you are, or shows how much of a loser you are, how inconsistent you are. That's why I love this beautiful thing we call life. Life will test you, man. Not only does it test you, but it makes you prove to the world if you are who you say you are. Are you who you say you are? Depression is self-inflicted. It's harm to yourself. I've never met somebody who thinks highly of themselves who's a loser. I've never met someone who thinks positive self-affirming thoughts that was depressed. They just don't correlate. Positive energy cannot entertain and manifest negative energy. Now, I'd be lying if I said you won't face negative energy because opposites do attract at times. It's all about how you react to it. Sitting in that classroom, man, when I when I had that epiphany, it made me so happy. Because life is simple, but it's never easy. Can you simplify the things that occur in your life? Can you break things down to their most simple form and build from there? Can you overcome adversity and live to tell the story?
Can you shield yourself from negativity and only allow positivity to manifest in your life?